Hello there. Are you finding it difficult to retain customers and reduce churn for your subscription box business? Well, today I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step process you can use to drastically lower your churn rate. So keep watching to see how to keep your customers engaged and loyal to your business. Welcome back to Ecommerce Secrets TV. I'm Gary Redmond here to share with you practical strategies and secrets to grow your online business. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from me. So let's dive right into reducing churn for your subscription box business. First off, it's essential to figure out why your customers are canceling your subscription. So the first thing you need to do is to set up a way to gather this feedback from our customers. So if you see on my screen here, this is an automation that I've created which basically says when a customer subscribes to the list UK cancelled, and that's triggered when someone cancels their subscription in what we use a platform called Subly. When they cancel their subscription, we have a Zap set up in a, in a platform called Zapier to automatically move customers into our cancel list, okay? Then we have an automation that fires here in Active Campaign, which is our email provider, that sends them a survey asking them why did they cancel their box, okay? So that's the first thing you need to do is set up this automation because you can forget to do this for a long time, um, in terms of sending out surveys to your customers manually, but by automating it, you're constantly getting responses throughout time, okay? And we've set this up years ago. If you look here, we actually set up our survey 2016, some of the surveys that we set up here, okay? So it's really, really effective and useful to create surveys um, and send them, to, send them to people automatically and you continue to gather data over time, okay? So that's the first thing. Okay, so when you're surveying your customers, it's essential to understand why they're leaving, okay? So you wanna set up the surveys to ask them questions about what they liked or didn't like about your service. Did they find a good value for money? Is there anything they felt was missing? Could you do anything to bring them back? What price would they consider fair? Gathering this feedback is crucial to understanding your customers' needs and pain points and the reasons why they canceled. After accumulating responses over time, you might begin to see common reasons for cancellations. And if you, what you need to do is you need to rank these reasons and focus on the top three. Ask yourself, how can we fix these issues? The more problems you address, the lower your churn will be. And now it's time to strategize and work on ways to fix those reasons. If customers didn't like certain aspects of your service, consider modifying or replacing them in terms of product, service, delivery, whatever it is. If delivery was an issue, you can consider offering more courier options. But one of the most common reasons that you're gonna come up against is financial, okay? But do not be discouraged by this. It's not that people can't afford your service, often they just don't see the value in it, okay? And finding ways to enhance the value of your subscription box, it could be through community building, such as a Facebook group or membership, uh, information sharing, if you give them bonus information, or again, an online portal where they can log in and get more information, uh, exclusive access or discounts and perks. I'm gonna show you some examples in a second, but basically these elements can increase customer loyalty without you needing to basically increase your increase your costs or lower your price. So if you check out our website here, what we do in order to increase the value of our subscription is we actually have a perk where customers get a free 24 seven video vet support. Now we partner with a company and we, we do pay for this service, but it's not that expensive. It wouldn't be as expensive as it would cost to add another product to everyone's box, okay? So that's one way you can basically partner. And some, sometimes you can get these partnerships for free. Okay, if you're driving customers or driving users to another service, you can actually get some of these partnerships for free. So think of other businesses or what would be a benefit that your customer needs or would, would find value in that you could tack on to your subscription, okay? The next one I wanted to show you um, is another thing that we do. And we do what's called a, a loyalty rewards uh, program. And the way the loyalty rewards program works is we built this out in, inside of Subly and how it works is that when a customer, so the trigger for this automation is going to be when an order is created, but the condition is that it's on a certain number of orders that a customer has actually done with our, with, has actually made with our business. So it's on the third month of their subscription. And what you can do is you can say, here's a free $5 or five pound voucher that you can use in our online store just for being a customer. And basically the good thing about this is that it's, it's not a crazy amount of money and also you're not giving money directly off your box, okay? And if you have good margins in your online store, you can almost, you know, it's, it's, it is, it's a great perk for a customer, but it doesn't cost you the earth, okay? And what you can do then is you can set it up where after three months, six months, 12 months, 18 or 24 months, you can give increasing vouchers and increasing rewards to your customers to keep them, to keep them on board, okay? Now remember, a lot of people will go to your online store and they'll use their voucher and buy more things and it'll actually end up being a money spinner for you too. So that's another thing you can do. Um, we also have, we have an online store and an app, not on the same URL as our as our, as our our box, because we don't want to confuse the messaging, but we also have customers can 
can add products to their next box here. So they've got exclusive uh, coupon code delivered to them and anything they buy on this shop, if they use the coupon code add to box, they get free shipping and we can simply add that product to the next box. So again, other ways of increasing the value of the subscription and the, the reducing the churn therefore without actually adding any, uh, reducing your price or increasing your costs, okay? So we also have rewards when customers refer friends. So that's another perk that customers can get money off their next box by referring their friends and that is essentially it. You also can, as I mentioned before, we have thought about doing like dog training courses online, uh, partnering with a dog trainer and offering that as a free perk, or you can uh, have like a Facebook group and community, other ways for people to stay engaged with your brand without necessarily increasing your costs. So I wanted to give you and leave you one final tip is when you're, when you're running your surveys, ask people for their email address so you can identify who they are because what you can do then is you can match people's uh, feedback with their email and therefore their customer profile and if you have the time or have a VA or have staff you can actually have people reach out to these people personally and offer them basically exactly what they wanted if they tell you that they had this problem but it was it was good value for money and they liked the box and they maybe want a cheaper price it's always cheaper to bring back a previous customer than to go to pay, pay and find a new one, okay? Especially if that customer has already done a, a number of months on your subscription and you know they're a good customer, you need to really, really focus on reactivation. So you can actually contact people directly. If you can get in contact with them, there's a good chance they'll come back if you tell them, I'll fix all the problems you had and give you a better price. So I hope this video has provided you with practical steps to reduce your churn in your subscription box business. If you haven't, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips and strategies to grow your online business. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. If you want a free resource for kickstarting your subscription box marketing plan, check out my proven high converting website template in the link or in the, in the description below. As always, I'm glad to help you increase the sales of your online business using proven strategies that work for me. I hope you're feeling inspired. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll be more than happy to help. Until next time, keep hustling and stay dedicated to your dreams.